was GA'd for a reason because it's one of the most broken mechanics in the game. So let's go through the first method of snaking, which is the most standard one, snaking behind cover. So what you want to do is, let me go behind cover and show you how it is while the bot chases me looking for blood. This guy is, uh, this guy's not messing about, bro. Okay, kills himself. All right, I'm gonna move on. I don't know what just happened there. I lost all my thoughts. Okay, so what you want to do is this. You want to use a piece of cover. You want to basically, one, go prone. Let's just get rid of the bot. You want to go prone and then run forward. That's, just, that's how we're gonna start. So if you guys have never snaked before, go to a piece of cover, go prone, and then run forward. That's it for now. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna show you in fast motion how it looks. So let's watch the kill cam here. Look at the kill cam, if, my, if the bot can kill me, it'll be, it'll be great. If the bot can actually shoot back, it'll be absolutely great. He fries me when I don't want him to, but right now, let's see. Anytime now, bro, anytime now. So this is snaking. So this is like me just basically going, kind of forward this boy is trolling bro you're on veteran this is what this was your whole life what is going on okay my man is tweaking bro this bot you know we're not even worry about him just yet we're gonna, we're gonna carry on because this guy is actually trolling me so what you want to do is starting off like this we're gonna just snake by going up and down this is the basic form of snaking now there's two kind of main focuses one you're getting information two you're making it hard for them to hit you like you're seeing right there hopefully you can see it now let's watch the kill cam so in this situation imagine someone's trying to kill you you see how they can barely see my head it's very difficult for them to shoot you. So that's the main kind of focus of snaking. The next thing you want to do to make it a little bit more advanced is whatever piece of cover you have, go left and right while snaking. So this time, you're not just standing up and down. You're going left and right. So look at this. This time now, it's basically impossible for him to kill me. We're going to watch the kill cam. Okay, this guy is so trolly, bro. This bot was frying me when I didn't want him to, but now he's not. So let's say again, we go through the right. We go through. We're going to snake it like this. So you're gonna keep going prone, keep going prone. Now the weakness of this is if he goes high ground, he'll kill you. But this right now, look how much information I'm gathering. So I can snake, I can snake, and when I'm ready, I can commit and go for the kill like that. So that's kind of the main essence of snaking, okay? I'm gonna show you one more time, and the more advanced version is to basically just do the same thing as a basic, but instead of going up and down, you're gonna go prone and then go up and right. Prone, go up and left. Prone, up and right, prone, up and left. Prone, up and right, prone, up and left, like that. So look, prone, I'm going up, and I'm going right a little bit, but at the same time. So I'm basically moving left to right, like that. Kill me, please. There you go. Let's see how it looks from the enemy's POV. And you can just see, it's just like, if someone's actually trying to kill you on here, it's very hard to predict. So what you want to do is utilize that. Now, now the main, main thing is, you want to snake effectively. Some people just snake for the sake of it. No. If you can see the opponent, snake once, and then go for the kill. You want to snake to camera them because when you peek up again, that allows you to get the kill. That allows you to camera them. So let's say there's a guy in front of me, a snake once, snake twice, go for the kill. Don't spend four and a half working days snaking because you're not gaining anything. He's already there out in the open. Utilize it. The other thing is if you're weak, you can snake because you're buying time for yourself. Go through it. There you go. You can camera them. Okay, so snaking is very, very important. It's literally GA'd by the pros because of how broken it is, rightfully so. It, I don't want it to be in rank play, but it is, so you guys might as well take advantage of it because everyone else does. You, you make sure to utilize a normal snake in your game. It was very, very, very broken. The best thing about the normal snake is you can actually do it in any scenario. Like right now, you can see there's a player on top here. He actually has a high advantage. So I'm simply going to go through. Now, if I was to not move here and he shot me, he'll probably get the kill, especially this is like a crimson lobby. He'll probably get the kill with a good shot. But me going down for a second, repositioning. Now, can you see how I'm snaking? I'm not even going prone. I'm actually going crouch. So you can kind of do like a semi-snake. And now I'm running forward, okay? So the only thing I'm doing here is I'm basically going into cover and then running forward. And what happens is on your screen, you can see them a second before. So right now, can you see how I'm ready for the gunfight? That's because I've done the snaking animation. He doesn't actually see me just yet. It's really weird because on your screen, it doesn't look that crazy. But on his screen, I pop out first and I get the kill. So right now, if I spot him in this situation, don't just stand there. Now, snaking is GA, but you guys, we're not in the pro league. So we go through, snake it once. This isn't actually snaking. Snaking is actually when you do this more than twice. So in this situation, you go down, pump up again, and then go for those shots. Very effective and allows you to work on that centering and get that beam. So make sure to do this to get more kills. Now we're going to go through and see what can happen here. So in this situation, we're in a very similar spot here. This one's actually about standing snaking, which we're going to go through after, but same concept, okay? You want to make sure that you're utilizing the cover and kind of snaking. So what, I want you guys to remember this because this one applies for the later part of the video. But going through, and this kill here was, was actually pretty insane. So as we go across, okay, you see we're getting shot from the right. So my first thought process, let me back away and go through that one again. Sorry, one second. So yeah, this next bit, sorry, 
Let me, uh, my voice is going. So let me start that one again. Okay, cool. This next bit is going to be how to snake effectively, but more importantly, kind of using the surroundings to your advantage. So right now we're going to go through and I slide across and instantly I'm getting shot from the right. So my first thought process is to get into cover. So now I'm making this guy one shot. I'm into cover. Okay. Perfect. Now, on my right-hand side, there's going to be someone waiting for me. So instead of facing him now, I'm simply going to use this cover and snake. So the first thing I'm trying to do is snake for information. So we're going to go through and I'm going to just snake for information, okay? So now we're snaking for information. And I want you to realize what we're doing. As soon as we see him, we're going to reposition, go through, and then get the kill. So first snake for information and then be efficient with it. Right now, you can see the players are looking at me. We're just snaking, going for the kill. You want to be annoying. You don't want to snake for five and a half working days, but just snake once or twice and then boom, go for the kill. Now, if you guys are playing competitive and like, you know, trying to compete and stuff like that properly, you can do this up to two times. So what I'm doing now, going down and then up, it's only snaking. It's only banned if you do it more than twice. In rank play, do what you want. But right now, look at this. If I was to do this once, like that, and that's it. That's not snaking. If you do it three, four, five times, that is considered snaking. So you can do this. What I just did there, going down and then going up again, the pros actually do that. The pros are allowed to do that. So if you guys are trying to compete and apply by GAs, that's what I recommend doing. If you're not and you don't really care, then just constantly snake. It buys time and it's very annoying to play against. Look at this. I go through. I know where he's coming from. I'm snaking, controlling the gunfight, and I'm just being annoying. Like... Right now I'm on a head glitch, they can't really kill me. So I'm just buying time by snaking. And it's so, so annoying to play against. Me personally, I wish it wasn't in the game. Um, but yeah, the way it is, it's in the game, it's broken. So when I play rank play, I, I have to do it. I mean, it's, it's one of those where other people do it to me. So I'm going to do it back. And I'm okay with that. If I play competitive eight, I straight away don't snake. Because I know it's a part of GAs and I want to respect that. So we go through and yeah, we're going to carry on. We're going to snake right here. Look at that. He's pre-aiming me, but because we snake, absolutely fry him. Always ready to camera people. So, so effective. So what you're seeing now is us snaking behind cover. What you're going to see in a second, in about 30 seconds, is we're going to go through how to snake while standing without the cover. But the most important thing I want you guys to realize is how natural I'm making it, which is perfect because it allows you to win so many gunfights. Like basically in all these clips, I'm using it on different maps, different scenarios. Anytime there's a piece of cover, I'm essentially snaking. Now it is a bit ratty. Some people don't like it. I'm not a fan of snaking either, but you have to use it if you want to compete, especially in rank play. Let's go through the next part where you're snaking while standing. King behind cover, right? Which is obviously a very broken thing to do, but a lot of people don't utilize a snaking in a normal situation when you have no cover. Now, this one is more of a backup, not something to rely on for sure, but let's just say you're out in the open. Let's say you got caught out and you're weak right now, okay? You're weak out in the open, the opponent's going to push you. You want to utilize your snaking while standing like in a spot as well. There's no cover here. So instead of standing here and waiting for him to push me, I'm going to snake it. That way, when he pushes me like that, it's a lot harder for him to kill me because I'm adding movement to my game. So when he comes around the corner, he can't just jump around and shoot me, right? He's going to have to worry about me because I'm snaking. Let's see how it looks in the opponent's POV. So we'll see, we're going through with snaking. We're making it hard for him to kill me. There you go. Let's see how it looks. So this is, bro, he chucks a nade. I want him to actually kill me with his weapon so we can see. But right now, look, let's see he goes through. This bot's going to fry me. Okay, I'm weak. He's going to chase me. This bot is uh, its not very impressive, bro. This guy's on veteran. He's supposed to be frying me. He does it when I don't want him to. Okay, why are you stunning me, bro? Come on. Can you lock in, bot? Can you lock in? Like, I'm trying to show, show the boy tutorial. So right now, look, I'm out in the open. What do I do? I can start snaking. And hopefully we can see a little bit of how it looks. If not, we'll go through it again. So as the bot comes around the corner, imagine I'm standing there. You see how I'm snaking a little bit? It wasn't as effective because I was weak, but let's go through again. Okay, so right now I'm going to be snaking and you're going to see how the movement looks. It just makes it harder for them to kill you because if you're standing still, it's very easy. But look at this. You see as I'm going left, right, going up and down, it's a little bit harder. You can mix the snaking with a jump as well, especially if you're out in the open. Mix the snaking with a jump, make it harder for them to kill you. Now, again, this isn't something to do all the time, but one time it's really effective is here. If you're standing, let's say I'm on high ground, I'm not actually going behind the cover and snaking, no? I'm standing on high ground, I'm snaking just to kind of get information, and then I'm able to kind of act on it, okay? So two times to use a snaking while standing. One is when high ground, let's say this cover wasn't there, let's say it was just this. You can kind of snake using the actual high ground itself. So I can snake using the high ground itself, and then I can jump off and kill him. Really effective way of snaking on high ground. The other way is if you're out in the open, there's no one next to you, no cover, then you want to snake. Because instead of being a standing target, just make it a little, little bit harder for them to kill you. So make it a little bit harder, make it a little bit harder for them to kill you. There you go. We should be able to see how it looks. And in this situation, you can see, <clears throat> if I hit more shots there, I'm a, I'm a moving target. Although I'm not running around, again, very situational. When you have no space, you're kind of 
stuck in an area, just snake. Just snake standing up, make it harder for them to kill you. Why? Because when they come around the corner, they're not going to expect it. You go through, you can get that kill, get that bailout when you probably should have lost a gunfight. What you guys saw was when you're out of position, not necessarily out of position, but when you're in areas where there's just no natural cover, what can we do there? How can we still snake here? Let's find out in a real life example. So we're going through now. Right now, you see that we're not directly behind the head glitch. So we're going to start snaking here. And look at that. We get the first kill. We go round and we get the second. Well, we make him, you know, at least we would have got the kill if he wasn't there. We go through and get the second there. So we're constantly going to be snaking even when standing. And this is the main area. When you're on a high ground like this, you can always utilize it. Look at this. We get one. We're going to go through. Now, there is bits of cover here. But certain areas, I'm not able to use it. Like right now, look what I do. I go through and I spot the third player. Now, although there's no cover near me, there's nothing next to me, I'm actually going to snake right now because I'm reloading. I'm going to snake the air. So I'm going to go down and then go up. Use the cover that's on the ground as your cover. So right now, because we're on high ground, we can actually snake nothing. But it still looks really, really hard to play against on his screen. So in normal situations, I'll be like, okay, snake this vent, for example, right on the left. But I'll say snake this. But they're going to be pre-aiming the head glitch. So the best thing about snaking out in the open is they don't even know where you're coming from because I could be standing anywhere here and I'm using this as a head glitch. So it's one of the most broken things you can do when you have high ground is basically just snake because you have so much leverage there because the whole area is a head glitch for them to look at. Going forward to high rise, I see what we do here. So as we go through, again, there's not real cover in front of me. It's just a little kind of scaffolding, but it's nothing crazy, but we're going to use it. We're going to snake it. So we go through, we take out the first player, jump up top instantly. And in this situation, there's no head glitch in front of me, okay? But look what I do. I go prone and I kind of snake it. We get another shot off. Now, right now, there's a player on my right. Instead of standing still here, I'm once again going to snake. Even though the cover in front of me isn't a direct head glitch, me snaking right now just makes it a little bit harder for him to play against. Because you can see from the shots... You can see his shots, right? You can kind of just see they went over my head. He was shooting my chest right now. So me snaking this basically just kind of messed his aim up. And now I'm using this as a bit of cover. I'm going to re-peek him and I have the advantage. So you always want to be snaking even when you're a little bit out in the open. Just snake a bit to make it harder for them to shoot at. Because most of the time they're going to go for your chest area. So if you do go snaking instead of standing still, you're going to give yourself an advantage. You're not always guaranteed to get the kill, but places like that, when you are caught off guard, use a bit of movement to make it harder for them to kill you. Let's go forward and see what we do in the next one. Same situation. We're going to snake it. This time, we're not actually... We are behind cover, but I want you to realize what we do. As we back away, we're still snaking it. Okay, that one, I mean, that was just behind cover. So, but yeah, this one again, we're going through. We're out in the open. We snake it once again, and we get the kill. Always snake in those scenarios, because then when you re-peak... So most people say, why do you snake? Like you're literally looking at him, right? Let me explain. If I was to right now, just look at this player. Let me back away again. So whenever I'm in a situation like this, I always get comments saying, why do you need to snake when, you know, you don't really need to because you're looking at the player. So we get the first kill. But in this situation, can you see my centering is completely off? There's a player on my left, okay? So I don't see him right now. Um, you guys are watching it on shorts. You can't see him. But on the main screen, we can see him on the left, okay? Right there. But anyways, right now, my centering is on the right. So he's looking at me. So by the time I recenter to the left, by the time I look to him, he could shoot me. So instead of looking at him, I'm going to recenter onto him while going prone. Now, now I'm prone. If I go up forward, if I run forward like this now, I actually see him a second before he sees me. The way FPS games work is when you're the aggressive player, when you're the one breaking their camera, you see them first. So look, I go prone, then I stand up again. And now you can see, although it looks like we're seeing each other, I'm actually seeing him first. I'm getting the peak as advantage. So we go forward. I see him first. I'm getting the shots off. Now, he still gets some good shots on. He still pre-fires me here. But the advantage I have is if I need to, I can go into cover. So you see, as I'm shooting him, I'm going into cover. If I decided right there that I was one shot, I could easily back away. And that's because I'm snaking. I'm able to control the gunfight. So make sure you add that into your game. And that is going to be at YouTube. Those are two types of snaking, two methods. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. And I'll catch you guys for another video tomorrow. Peace.